A ceremony to lay the foundation stone for the new head office of the People's Bank was held under the auspices of Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa yesterday. The foundation stone was laid in a plot of land located near the Ibamwala Junction. The plaque of the building was unveiled using state-of-the-art technology by Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa, who joined the event via a video call. Even though the entire world is going through a pandemic, we are still hopeful about the future of the country. Because of that, we hope to commence massive construction projects like this. The new 23-storied building will comprise of three basements and will be constructed under the green concept. Accordingly, the People's Bank head office, which was located at the Chittampalam M. Gardner Mavata for 44 years, will be moved to the Ibambwala Junction in Colombo in the near future. A discourse has arisen on moves to utilise properties in Colombo for various projects. This is against a backdrop in which valuable land and properties are being given for investment projects after being brought under one authority. These moves are taking place in line with a proposal tabled before the Cabinet on the 17th of May. While the People's Bank head office is being transferred to another location from its 44-year-old building, the Cabinet paper seeks to draw investments to the CNR restaurant set up on a 1.37-acre plot of land in close proximity to the building. This is a valuable land property located near the Lotus Tower. On previous occasions, it had been proposed to hand over lands along DR Vijayawardhan Mawatha to individuals involved in the casino business, such as James Packer, for the construction of hotels. What are the proposed investment projects? Following the approval of the Cabinet proposal, Selandiva Investments Private Limited was set up for land projects in Colombo as a tool to attract investments. Selandiva Holding Special Purpose Vehicle will operate under this entity, which is completely owned by the Treasury. The Special Purpose Vehicle had been set up for investment projects. What are these valuable properties? The Grand Oriental Hotel and York Building, Gafur Building, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Postal Department Head Office have been classified as the Colombo Fort Heritage Square Investment Portfolio. Meanwhile, the CNR restaurant along DR Vijayawardhanamawata, the mega mixed development project of the Water's Edge Hotel and the International Coordination Centre in Kankasanthurai in Jaffna are classified under the Immovable Property Development Investment Portfolio. Further, the Hilton Colombo and Grand Hyatt are also to be brought under the SPV and will be given away to investors. When People's Bank was relocated, it left the building and the land area vacant. It has been reported that moves are underway to shift the Air Force and Navy headquarters to the Army headquarters in Palo Alto. In addition to that, there are reports that the police headquarters is to be transferred from its location in Colombo Fort. Therefore, several land areas are becoming vacant in Colombo within a short period. Once that happens, who will receive the ownership of the lands and for what will they be used? These lands are under the Urban Development Authority. Therefore, the Urban Development Authority must decide on these matters. When there is such a possibility, they have set up a private entity by the name of Selandiva. With the intervention of the government and the central bank, these lands and buildings will belong to that entity. If we examine the location of these land areas and properties, we can observe that they might have some connection to the port city. If these lands fall under the Urban Development Authority, then they will be responsible to the people. But when a private entity is set up, they don't have to report matters to parliament or reveal matters to the people. They are not accountable to the parliament or the public. This paves the way for a land and property fraud. Valuable properties in Colombo will fall into the hands of the Chinese company attached to the Colombo port city and other racketeers. <laughs> Today the government is only left with China's aid. At present, the ministers, MPs and authorities of the government are over-dependent on China. They continue to plan which resources will be sold to China tomorrow. Besides handing over the port city to China, the government is engaging in another treacherous activity by giving cabinet approval through a cabinet paper to build a highway from Paliagoda to Aturugiriya to Port City as a build-operate transfer project. Who has been handed the contract? 
It's given to the same company that has the ownership of the port city without any sort of transparency. We would like to ask the government, is the toll which is charged from the highway given to this company? A discreet set of actions are taken to hand over lands in Colombo to China. First, the Urban Development Authority transfers these lands to the Selendiva company, which the government has 100% ownership of. And after that, its ownership is given to special companies that are under its purview. Then they are classified into three categories and are invested in the stock market as investment portfolios. Finally, China acquires them. The government that came into power is selling off valuable economic resources to China, causing our economy to collapse.